we want to link to that categories page. We're going to add a service area, business history, and what makes this particular business. I always make sure that I mention the city naturally throughout the content. We don't want to just stuff it in everywhere. I link to the location page in the section about our service area and the about page in the section about business history. For category pages, I'm going to write content that shows my client is an expert in that specific type of work. If I'm targeting emergency plumber, I'm going to talk about the client's 24 seven availability, average response time and common emergencies they handle. Then I'm going to link to each specific emergency service they offer. Now service pages need three key elements. First, what problem is solved. Second, how the client or you solve that problem. And third, why someone should actually choose you or your client and use the actual words that people type into Google. If they search for water heater replacement cost Houston, use that exact phrase in your content. For location pages, talk about specific things in that neighborhood. Maybe there are a lot of older homes in the Heights with outdated plumbing or new builds in River Oaks that need brand new fixture installation. Show you know the area. This will help you with Google and Google searchers. Don't write all of this yourself. This is an enormous amount of content. Use AI. Feed these requirements into ChatGPT and have it write your first draft. Then you can edit that draft to add your actual experience and local knowledge. No one knows your business and your area better than you. Use that people also ask section to generate supporting ideas for FAQ sections and supporting content for specific categories and services. Just type that category or service into Google, click on a few of the people also ask questions and you'll get a lot more ideas. Now, the last piece is images. Do not use stock photos. Google knows that they're stock photos. Use AI to generate new images of plumbing work or better yet, just take photos of your actual jobs with your phone. Name the image files with relevant keywords before uploading them to your website. Now, let's talk about the technical side of local SEO. It's actually pretty simple. You only need to focus on four key things for this technical side. First, we need to make sure that the website works perfectly on phones. Most people looking for local services like a plumber are on their phone, probably standing next to a broken water heater. So pull up your site on your phone right now. If you have to pinch and zoom to read anything, it's a problem. It needs to be fixed. Secondly, your site needs to load fast. Google has a free tool called page speed insights. You can run your site through this tool and it'll tell you what's wrong with it. If your images are too big, it'll tell you if your code needs cleaning up, it'll tell you fix what it finds or more likely what I do hire a developer from Upwork to fix it for you. Again, you don't need to learn to code to do this type of thing.